So OpenAI just came out with a new update, GPT-40, also known as Omni. This model is proven to be faster and more correct. And also with these new updates, GPT-40 is able to analyze videos. You might be saying to yourself, but it already was able to. But that's not true because you would have to put a transcript and it will only be able to analyze that transcript. But now it's able to analyze everything in a video from hand motions to a way someone says a word. So let's get into it. So right here is GPT-40's website. So right away, it tells you what it is and it tells you like who created it. It's all of the people that contributed to making this. It allows you to go to the GPT website to be able to test it. You're able to go to playground and mess around with it. And you're able to watch the live right here okay so scrolling down they have a video as i said at the beginning gpt40 the meaning of o is omni right here it says it's able to understand text audio image and video okay and it's able to generate combinations of text audio and image and it just says its response time in a conversation can be as low as 232 milliseconds with the average being at 320 milliseconds right here. As they say right here, for the API, GPT-40 is 50% cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo. And GPT-40 is way better at vision and audio. Right here just shows how GPTs are able to interact with each other. And this video just shows how someone's getting ready for an interview. As you're able to see, it's able to understand video. It's able to calm down someone. It's able to talk to them. You're able to show it your environment and it'll be able to talk about your environment. Also, like you're able to take like a video of your computer or you're able to share your screen with it. And then you're able to ask you questions that are already on your screen. That'll come in very handy with no code automation builders and coding, which is really going to be game changing because if you're not able to solve a problem, you're able to just ask ChatGPT, not have to go to a website to hire someone to do it for you, which is really, really cool. For example, you're able to share your screen. You're able to ask it like a question. Why isn't this automation working? Then it can actually talk to you and walk you through how to fix it. And if it didn't fix it, you're able to say that didn't work. And then it will keep on walking you through on how to fix that certain problem or being like a very, very good teacher. And this video just shows the founder of Khan Academy, him asking ChatGPT to teach his son geometry. So basically right here is ChatGPT, they're screen sharing, and then they're showing their screen. And then the son is able to ask ChatGPT questions and then eventually get the answer. So if we keep scrolling, Right here, it just shows you GPT-40 compared with all of the models and compared to their competitors. On the MMLU, it's just a tiny bit better than GPT-4 Turbo, just a tiny bit better than the competition. Right here in the GPOA, GPT-40 is way better than GPT Turbo, but as you're able to see, Cloud3 Opus is basically almost as good as it. And then Llama3 right here, the best open source AI out there. On the math test, as you're able to see, ChatGPT got way better at it, and it's way better than all of the other competition. The human evil test, this is a very important one. GPT-4 is way higher than all of them, but as you're able to see, the competition is not that far behind. On the MGSM, Cloud3 is a tiny bit better than the rest, but as you're able to see, Google Gemini is pretty high up there too. They don't have the test for Llama 3, but Opus is way better than GPT-4.0. And then drop DROP, GPT-4 Turbo is better than... GPT-4.0. This is basically the test score. This is always the most important thing on it to know what model is better at what, what it can do better. Audio, Omni is faster. Omni has a way less error rate. Audio translation, this, this has proven to be very, very good. Me being able to speak Romanian, I've been able to talk with it in Romanian and it speaks very, very good Romanian. I've shown it to other people that speak better Romanian than me and it's basically fluent in Romanian. And then for the vision understanding, it just shows what it's better at. GPT-40 is way better than the competition at vision understanding. That's very, very good when you like upload a picture, it's able to understand it and not have such a big error rate answering that question. So let's say you upload a PDF, but that PDF is not a text PDF. It's just a photocopied picture of like a textbook. You're able now to upload it and it's not going to have that big of an error rate as it used to have. So now if you ask it a question, it's not going to make up that question. It's, it's going to pull better answers. And then just scrolling down, this is just the language stuff. They just talk about model safety. And then in this video, they just talk about the model limitations. I'm just pushing it to its max. And then down here, just says the model availability. GPT-40 will be free to users, of course, with limitations. If you have ChatGPT Premium, I haven't seen any like limits. It feels like they removed the limits. I've asked it so many questions and it just keeps on going. I used to always hit that 40 word limit, but now I'm not hitting the limit at all. So I think they removed the limit. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, let's just get into testing the model. Now we're on the ChatGPT website. You're able to choose what model you want to use. And then you're able to click on temporary chat. The reason why it's here, it's something like incognito, but not, not really incognito. 
but it's more like I'm asking these types of questions. I don't want ChatGPT remembering these questions either for security reasons or you just don't want ChatGPT remembering what you told it. That's the reason this temporary chat is here, which comes in very useful down the line. But yeah, so let's get into it. So for example, now 4.0 is able to browse the web. They've taken this option away multiple times. I've seen the option back and forth on GPT 4.0 and once on 3.5, like six times they've taken it we reintroduced it, taken it and reintroduced it. But now I think the browsing feature is here to stay. So for example, we're just gonna ask it a question. What happened to Slovakia's prime minister? I start searching the web right here. It starts telling you what sites it got it from, uh, the source, and then basically it gives you the answer. You're able to click on the sources it gives you, Al Jazeera right here, and the independent right here. That's basically where it got its sources. And as you're able to see, the links it provides you are actually correct. Unlike GPT-4, which they were not correct, they'll just produce fake links that would bring you to 404 pages. For example, for the memory, I'm going to ask it, what is my name? And then I would just say, my name's Emmanuel. The reason why he knows that is because I've gotten into conversations with it. And then it remembers my name just by saying, remember that my name is Emmanuel. And then it will remember that. And then as you're able to see, it adds to memory, my name's Emmanuel. So it just will remember that. And then I'm also going to tell it, remember that I live in the U.S. And then it added that to my memory. So then if I ask it, was Ronald Reagan born in the same country as me? It will say, yes, Ronald Reagan was born in the same country as you because it already knows that I was born in the U.S. Because it will remember from the pre previous conversation that I said, I live in the U.S. And then it says, yes, Ronald Reagan was born in the same country as you. And as you're able to see with these conversations, it got a new UI update. It looks more like iMessages going back and forth. As you're able to see text bubbles that, that I'm sending, and then on the left side, it's showing what is sent back to me. And also, OpenAI came out with a Mac app. So if you click Option and Space, the ChatGPT app comes up, and then you're able to ask it questions, and then click Option and Space to take away the app. So like, the difference between the GPT app and the website is, for example, if you click option and space again, you're able to take screenshots quickly just like this and then ask a question on the screenshot. You don't have to click shift command four to take a screenshot like that. You're able to just take a screenshot like that. You're able to immediately upload files just by simply uh, clicking upload file and then it'll pop this up and then you're going to be able to add a file. And then of course, you're able to ask questions really quickly just because of the shortcut. So as you're able to see, the biggest differences are that you're able to communicate with it with speech to text, and then you're able to have a full on conversation with it. And then you're able to ask it a question. Who are the final two primary presidential candidates in 2024? And then it transcribed it and then boom. And then you're able to ask it searches the web and then it shows you the sites it got it from. And then it says Joe Biden is from the Democratic Party and then Donald Trump's from the Republican Party. And then as you're able to see, you're able to switch the models right here. You're able to make it answer in GPT-4 right here. It also is able to read it out loud just by clicking this. It will transcribe it. The final two primary presidential... We're also able to have a conversation with ChatGPT just by clicking this over here. Who are the final presidential candidates in 2024? The final presidential candidates for the 2024 election are Joe Biden for the Democratic Party and Donald Trump for the Republican Party. What does Buna Ziwa mean in Romanian? In Romanian, Buna Ziwa means good day or good afternoon. It's a common greeting used during the daytime to politely address someone. And then as you were able to see, I was able to translate something from Romanian to English just like that. And lastly, what we're going to do is test GPT-4 and GPT-4.0 and show the difference of speed between them two. So as you're able to see, this is GPT-4, this is GPT-4.0. We're just going to ask it a simple question. What happened to the Prime Minister of Slovakia on both sides? We're going to give GPT-4 a head start and then go with this one. Both search. And then as you're able to see, this one gives a more in-depth response and writes faster. And then, yeah, gave a more in-depth response. It basically gives you the news outlets it got it from. This one searched one website. This one searched four websites, basically in the same amount of time. And this one also got more sources, has a more in-depth review of what happened. And then this one just says what happened to him. If you don't know what happened to the Prime Minister of Slovakia, there was an assassination attempt. But yeah, he's fine. So yeah, that's basically GPT-4.0. Also, as you were able to see, GPT-4.0 was way faster than GPT-4 and gave a more in-depth 
analysis to certain situations. Also, in my experience, GPT-4.0 is way better at coding than GPT-4, and it's also way better at math. So yeah, if you want me implementing AI into your business like AI Colors, feel free to book a call, link in the description. If you need any help with implementing AI into your business, feel free to click the same link in the description or join my Discord server, link in the description.